Good morning. I look forward to meet with uh, NATO defense ministers and ministers from uh, partner countries at uh, the uh, Ukraine contact group uh, led by the United States. And we will discuss um, how to sustain and step up our support uh, for uh, Ukraine. I just uh, came back from Kiev uh, yesterday night and uh, I met with President uh, Zelensky and his uh, message was that he really appreciates and welcomes the uh, strong support the NATO allies and partners uh, have provided uh, for Ukraine. But he also counts on us uh, to uh, continue uh, to support uh, Ukraine in the, the future. My message to him uh, was that uh, NATO has stood by Ukraine for a long time. Uh, we will we continue to stand uh, by Ukraine as they continue to repel uh, the Russian aggression against their country. And we will stand by Ukraine in the future uh, to help to build a better and brighter future for the Ukrainian uh, people. Uh, President Zelensky and I also discussed the preparations uh, for the upcoming uh, NATO summit in Vilnius in uh, July. Uh, I have invited him to attend the meeting and I'm glad that he has accepted the invitation and will attend uh, the NATO summit in uh, Vilnius. Um, we um, discussed the preparations and I uh, highlighted that uh, there are at least uh, two issues that will be important for Ukraine. One is that I expect uh, NATO allies at the summit to recommit uh, to support Ukraine for as long as it takes uh, with substantial military uh, support to ensure that Ukraine prevails as a sovereign independent nation in, uh, in Europe. And I also expect the NATO allies to uh, agree a multi-year program uh, to uh, help uh, Ukraine transition from Soviet era equipment uh, uh, standards doctrines uh, to NATO standards and doctrines and to ensure full interoperability between Ukrainian forces and uh, NATO forces. So uh, I'm looking for the meeting now and I'm ready to answer your questions. It doesn't mean that Ukraine gets a road map of accession because a lot of Ukrainian officials, they said that uh, one condition of uh, participants of Zelensky is road map. Well, I said in Kiev yesterday uh, that uh, Ukraine's uh, future is in the Euro-Atlantic uh, uh, family and all NATO allies have agreed that uh, Ukraine uh, will become uh, a NATO uh, member. Um, uh, but the main focus now is of course uh, on, uh, uh, on how to uh, ensure that Ukraine uh, prevails. What we do know is that uh, our support helps Ukraine move, uh, move toward uh, 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 the Euro Atlantic integration uh, and our uh, and our support uh, help them uh, to make this uh, this uh, possible. Uh, but the main focus now is on uh, ensuring that uh, President Putin do not uh, does not win the war, that Ukraine prevails, uh, because without a sovereign, independent Ukraine, there is no meaning in uh, discussing uh, membership. Speak what weapons did he say he needed most? What weapons did he say he needed most? Well, uh, he uh, uh, went to uh, different types of weapons, uh, including everything from air defense, heavy armor, uh, jets. Uh, I'll leave it to uh, uh, to Minister Resnikov and the Ukrainians here to uh, to describe exactly what kind of uh, needs they have. Uh, but that's the reason why it is important to meet here in Rammstein. Uh, to sit down with the Ukrainians uh, and to discuss in detail what are the needs, what are the gaps, and how can NATO allies and partners in the US-led uh, contact group uh, ensure that we are providing them the support they need as soon as possible. Then, in my discussions with, um, with um, President uh, uh, Zelensky, uh, I, of course, uh, uh, recognize the importance of discussing new capabilities uh, and the support for Ukraine has evolved as the war has uh, uh, evolved. In the beginning the focus was on light anti-tank weapons like the javelins and the NLOs, then the focus was on artillery, uh, then uh, for a long time the main focus was on air defense and modern air defense systems like uh, Patriots and, and NASAMs and I welcome the fact that now there are uh, Patriots uh, in place. German and US Patriots in place in, uh, in uh, Ukraine. 
Uh, and over the last two weeks, we have a lot of focus on months, uh, focus on, on, on armor, on battle tanks, and battle tanks are now coming into uh, to Ukraine. And we need to continue to discuss, and jets are also being delivered by allies to, to Ukraine. We need to continue to discuss specific platforms. Uh, but as important as discussing new platforms, it is extremely important to ensure that all the platforms which are already in Ukraine work and function as they should, meaning that we need ammunition, we need spare parts, we need fuel, we need uh, maintenance, we need repair, we need all the sustainment to ensure that all the systems which are already there are delivering the effect uh, that they should. So therefore, not only discuss new systems, but also discuss how to ensure that existing systems function. Does NATO, uh, yeah, does NATO have a timetable when Ukraine could enter NATO? So all NATO allies have agreed uh, that uh, Ukraine will become a, 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 a member. Um, uh, uh, President Zelensky has a very clear uh, expectation. We discussed this, um, um, uh, both the issue of membership but also security guarantees. Um, and, um, and of course, Ukraine needs security. Uh, because no one can tell when and how this war ends. But what we do know is that when the war ends, we need to ensure that history doesn't repeat itself, that uh, Russia is not able to continue to attack and to wage uh, war again against uh, Ukraine and to continue to chip away at uh, uh, European security. So we need a discussion about a security framework. We need, uh, uh, and there, there, there will be a discussion about, or there is an ongoing discussion about uh, membership. But my message was, first, Ukraine's rightful place uh, is in NATO, as allies have agreed. Um, uh, but also that the main focus now uh, is uh, to ensure that Ukraine prevails. Because if Ukraine doesn't prevail as a sovereign independent nation in Europe, there is no meaning in discussing uh, membership and we need to preserve the unity in supporting Ukraine. And that's the main focus also of the meeting today. Long okay, so long-term military aid. It means that uh, the, con the military counteroffensive uh, uh, won't be enough, and that uh, we have to get prepared to uh, um, maybe many years of war. But wars are by nature unpredictable, so no one can tell today when this war ends. Um, hopefully, uh, the Ukrainians are able to make a lot of progress, and 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 and, and you can have a just. And, uh, and enduring uh, uh, peace soon. Uh, but no one can say that with certainty. So we need to be prepared for the long haul. And that's the reason why NATO allies uh, has stated, have stated again and again uh, that we will stand by Ukraine for as long as it takes. But the other reason why we need a kind of long-term perspective is that even uh, or also after the war ends, we need to support Ukraine because we need to ensure that Ukraine has the military strength, the capabilities, the, the deterrence to prevent new attacks. Because you have to remember that the war didn't start in February last year. The war started in 2014 when um, uh, Russia illegally annexed Crimea and uh, when Russia for the first time moved into East and Donbass. And then we had a full-scale uh, invasion uh, in, uh, in February. So, when the war ends, we need to ensure that it really ends and that it's enduring peace. And to ensure that, we also need a long-term uh, uh, engagement relationship with uh, Ukraine. Uh, and that's the reason why we also look at the more multi-year uh, program package from NATO to help to ensure full interoperability with Ukrainian forces. Okay, yeah. Wondering about, the, they say that today there is a meeting for the tanks groups or something like this today and all the information that we got that the, the tanks is 14 7 7 something like this is that enough for ukraine to win in this uh, war and the, the other question is do you think ukraine can win in this war alone i mean just weapons it's, it's mean yes I absolutely believe that, uh, and not least because we have seen the courage, the skills, the determination of the Ukrainian armed forces. Uh, President Putin uh, made several big mistakes, strategic mistakes, when he invaded uh, Ukraine.
the first was to totally underestimate the, the strength of the Ukrainian armed forces. He thought that he was going to control Ukraine within weeks and, and take Kiev within days. Um, then he totally underestimated uh, NATO allies uh, and our partners in our resolve to support Ukraine. Uh, and therefore, uh, he has now been in, uh, in Ukraine for uh, more than a year and uh, he uh, does in no way control the country as he uh, planned. And Ukrainians have been able to push back the, uh, the Russian forces around uh, Kiev. I was in Butsha yesterday. And of course, that, that, that was a city that was controlled by Russian forces in the beginning of the war, liberated by the Ukrainian uh, armed forces after uh, a month. Um, uh, the Ukrainian uh, forces pushed back the Russian forces in the east around uh, Kharkiv and then in, 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 in the south around uh, Kazon. And we are now helping them to liberate uh, more land by providing more advanced uh, systems. On the uh, uh, battle tanks, well, uh, first of all, I think you need to understand that uh, we speak about uh, many types of battle tanks, uh, but uh, uh, also older ones. But, but now allies are b delivering uh, a significant number of advanced, modern NATO standard battle tanks, like the Leopard 2, uh, like the Challenger from the United Kingdom, the Abrams. Uh, but in addition to the advanced, modern NATO standard battle tanks, allies are also delivering infantry fighting vehicles, armed personnel carriers, a lot of armor and ammunition and equipment to these. So all of this is, is really advanced high-end capabilities that can enable the Ukrainians to push to uh, the Russian uh, uh, lines. Time for one okay. more. One more. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Last one. Yeah. Could you please elaborate a little bit more? What are your exact expectations for the outcome of today's meeting, also in terms of chats? So first of all, I would like to commend the United States uh, for leading and convening uh, this uh, group, the, the, the Defense uh, Contact Group for uh, Ukraine, and also for uh, Germany to hosting it uh, and, uh, and, uh, and to uh, Minister Peterius. Um, I expect uh, that uh, at this meeting, uh, NATO allies, partners will uh, announce additional support. Uh, and again, not only uh, uh, new platforms, but also to sustain the existing platforms. Uh, just to have the battle tanks, you need an enormous amount of ammunition, fuel, um, uh, 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 trailers to be able to move heavy equipment like uh, battle tanks, um, recovery vehicles. So I think sometimes we underestimate all the log logistics that have to be in place just to have uh, 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 operational tank, uh, battle tanks uh, capabilities. Uh, so maybe it sounds a bit more boring, but the logistics is extremely important. This is now a battle of attrition, and a battle of attrition becomes a... a, a a war of logistics. So, uh, so, so, so. Therefore, I, I welcome all the announcements. I expect that will uh, come later today. Uh, we have already had some announcements. The Netherlands and, and Denmark have announced that they will deliver 14 more uh, Leopard battle tanks. The U.S. announced the more uh, uh, missiles, ammunition for HIMARS, uh, more than 300 million uh, extra U.S. dollars uh, announced yesterday, and all other uh, all, all allies and partners are announcing more. On jets, well, allies have uh, delivered. Poland, uh, Slovakia has delivered uh, MiG-29s. Uh, there is an ongoing discussion about uh, 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 also other types of uh, jets. Uh, I will leave that to the meeting here and also uh, the ongoing discussion among uh, allies and partners. We need to constantly assess, constantly consult, uh, uh, but again, not only about new platforms, but also sustaining all the platforms you have. Thank you so much. Thank you.